Section 1. Installation of Voyager Hardware. To install the Voyager kit on your motorcycle first, place the motorcycle on a clean, flat surface. Remove the side covers from the motorcycle. Now, remove the center kickstand. Find the cross-member fill bar, belly brackets, U-bolts, and all the nuts, bolts, and washers. Install the cross-member fill bar into the hollow cross-member. Now, hang three U-bolts on the cross-member and install the rear belly bracket attachment on the U-bolts. Do not tighten at this time. Find the main belly bracket and the nuts and washers. Then install it onto the rear belly bracket attachment. Remove the left motor mount bolt. Install the left motor mount bracket and new motor mount bolt. Do not tighten at this time. To install the right motor mount bracket, remove the starter solenoid out of the way. Remove the right motor mount bolt and install the right motor mount bracket and new motor mount bolt. Do not tighten at this time. Now install the main belly bracket to the motor mount brackets using the bolts provided. Install the lower belly bracket onto the main belly bracket using the nuts and washers provided. Now tighten all of the bolts. To install the rear axle brackets, remove the rear muffler hanger bolts. Find the rear axle brackets and two hose clamps. The mufflers have been removed on this motorcycle for illustration purposes only. Then support the rear swing arm assembly with two jacks. Remove the nut from the rear axle bolt and loosen the retaining bolt on the other side. Remove the rear axle bolt. Now install the left rear bearing bracket. The bracket replaces the spacer that was removed with the rear axle bolt. Now reinstall the rear axle bolt. Install the right rear axle bracket and remove the jack stands and tighten the retaining bolt on the rear axle bolt. Then tighten the nut on the other side. The swing arm attachment of the rear axle bracket should be touching the swing arm of the motorcycle. Clamp this assembly together using the hose clamps provided. Now measure from the center of the main bolt shaft on the belly bracket to the center of the rear motorcycle tire and adjust so both sides measure the same. Now reinstall the rear muffler hanger bolts. Find the exhaust brackets, bolts, nuts, and washers. Install the muffler extension brackets using the hanger bolts and the new bolts provided. After installing the wheels and tires on the Voyager, place the crossbar of the Voyager directly behind the rear tire of the motorcycle and install a kickstand on the rear of the Voyager. With the motorcycle in neutral, push it backward over the crossbar and rest it on the kickstand. Now, install the jack stands on the receiver of the Voyager belly bracket. Install the jack stand opposite the kickstand first. Install the other jack stand and make sure the motorcycle is straight up and down. After making sure the motorcycle is straight up and down, remove the Voyager kickstand. Push the Voyager into place and install both front attachment bolts with a spacer and lock washers and torque them to 80 foot-pounds. Remove both jack stands and measure from the rear wheel of the motorcycle to the hub plate of the Voyager. Measure both sides and make sure the measurement is the same. If it isn't, 
Loosen the belly bracket and straighten the Voyager. Tighten the belly bracket and measure the rear of the Voyager again. Repeat this procedure until both sides measure the same. Now we will begin the rubber damper suspension installation. Take the rubber damper bonded to the mounting plate and slide it between the suspension fork and leaf springs until snug. Be sure the plate is resting against the leaf springs. Put two bolts through the damper mounting plate, then around the leaf springs and through the rubber damper bonded to the mounting plate. Use the two lock nuts and hand thread them onto the bolts. Tighten them completely. Locate the four suspension U-bolts, two lock blocks, two suspension plates, eight hex nuts, and eight lock washers. Place two suspension U-bolts over the rear of the Voyager frame and through the suspension U-bolt plate. Hand thread a hex nut and lock washer on each suspension U-bolt end. Do not tighten at this time. Place the leaf springs on top of the suspension U-bolt plate and underneath the Voyager frame. Then place the tapered end of the suspension fork on the bearing receiver. Locate the suspension lock block. Place the lock block over the leaf springs and under the Voyager frame. Tighten the hex nuts, but leave loose enough to adjust the suspension fork. Repeat each step on the opposite side suspension fork before tightening completely. Adjust the suspension fork so it aligns in the center of the bearing receiver. The outside diameter of the K-Preen roller bearing should be 3 16 inside the tapered end of the suspension fork. Once the suspension fork is properly adjusted, tighten the hex nuts on the suspension U-bolts completely. Then torque them to 35 foot-pounds. Now install the rear mudguard and your motorcycle is ready to ride.